Amiibos. They're pretty cool. They are a plastic carapace holding the mental capacities to be as good as a regular human being. At playing Smash, of course. But they're kind of expensive. So let's make our own. Alrighty, so now let's get on to this tutorial. Now, it doesn't matter whether you're using Android or you're using Apple, there is one step that you need to check before you even get into the tutorial, which is, is your phone NFC compatible? Now, I've linked a website down below, it is the first link, where you should go and check if your phone is compatible. Go ahead, I'll wait. While you're down there, you should hit subscribe and hit like for these amazing tutorials. <laughs> I, I can't sell out like that, I'm sorry. I've also left a link down in the comment section below called Amiibo Bin Files, which are going to be the files that you're going to want to look through to download an Amiibo for whichever game you would like. Now, to create your own Amiibos, you're going to need this little thing, which is called an NFC card. Now, an NFC card is just a little chip that is the same type of chip that is used inside of these Amiibos. Therefore, you are able to write over these chips and create Amiibos as you'd like. Alright, I've given you some time to go do that, so assuming that your phone is compatible, let's head over and see how to do it. Now, let's say you're using Android. What you're going to want to do is go to the second link in the description below and click on the Tagmo app download. Now, you're going to need to, of course, allow for Google Chrome to download apps and just go ahead and download that down into your phone. Once you've downloaded it, there should be a tagmo.zip and an amiibo file.zip. You're just going to want to go ahead and click on the tagmo.zip and then run the APK to install. Now, when you've downloaded the application and you've opened it, you will be greeted with a request to access your files, which you're going to need to allow, and then boom, the app is ready for use. Now, one step you're going to need to do is go ahead and go into the settings icon and now if you see here, it says that the two keys are missing. So you're going to want to go and click on the third link in the description below that are the unfixed and locked secret bins. Now if you click on that link, which <coughs> it will download a zip file and will open up as two dot bin files inside called locked secret dot bin and unfixed info.bin. What you're going to want to do is copy both of these files and paste them in any folder on your phone. Doesn't matter where it is. So for example, for mine, I use file manager. So I would go into my file manager and then I would paste them right here in my downloads. That's my easiest way to do it. Once you have those files in a folder that you know where they are, you can go back into the application click on the red text that says no unfixed key and then go through to your downloads and then select the two files that you have downloaded. Once you have clicked on both, the text should change from red to green saying okay the files are in correctly. Now if you go back to the main screen of the app you can click on load tag so that you can load your amiibo information. Now, as you see here, it says no amiibos found. What you're going to want to do is click on the gray tab at the bottom and then select the folder in which you downloaded your amiibo stuff. So in my case, I have it in my downloads tab. Once you've clicked the folder, you will see that all of your amiibos that you have downloaded will show up and you're ready to go. So let's say I want to make a King K Rule amiibo. I would just click on the King K Rule. Then I would click right tag and then place the NFC card below my phone. Then you're done. All right, let's go to the Apple version. Now, for the Apple users, it's actually even simpler because Apple has an app dedicated towards Amiibo creation in the App Store. 
So I'm going to leave a link to the article down below because this is actually a mainstream app and I'm afraid of infringement issues. So if you'd like to do it on Apple, just head over to that article. Everything's explained there and you don't need to download anything except for the app and you can just use these cards right away. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This is a tutorial that I couldn't really find anywhere out there so I decided to make one myself. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed, please hit the like button. If you would like to see more tutorials, hit the subscribe button. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. This is Hedge, you're tuning out. Peace.